Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Little Big Workshop. Alright, special episode coming in. Maybe a couple episodes. This is going to be released not on the same usual schedule as like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think I released this series of videos. I really wanted this done and finished like on a Friday so that way the following week I could start a new series. But it didn't look like that was going to happen. I thought we were going to finish it on the Friday episode. But I think we could finish this if I do one to two more episodes. So I'm gonna try to finish Champion Milestone today. Let's see what happens. I think these small drawers might push it over. Just because, since they're so small, we should be able to crank these out like crazy. And if we crank these out like crazy, it should get our revenue to shoot up. What does this guy want? No, we're not even gonna bother. Go away. Because we got our net worth under control. We figured out we just need to buy land. That's good. And then if we can get these small drawers cranked out super quick, our revenue should shoot through the roof. And hopefully that completes champion milestone. So let's get to it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm hoping this does it. Got all these... Who's playing pinball? We don't have a pinball machine. Let's make sure all these are working. They are. Ooh, what? No, that needs to go over there, then. Help break things up. I think, since I'm just going to focus on small drawers, I might disable a billboard. Just have one billboard control control all eight table saws. Ooh, these need to be repaired. Yeah, that should last us for a bit. Seriously, who is playing these games? It's definitely not a foosball table. Oh, we can volunteers. Volunteers, code red. Work, people, work, work, work. I love the, like, this is the best animation for the code red. It's so awesome to see. All right, who keeps playing pinball? Right, I don't have a pinball station, right? A pinball machine? I don't think I do. Oh, are we done cutting? Almost, almost. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna link this. There we go. So now everything should start being sent out here. There we go. And then let's just delete this station. Just so we know not to use it. Come pick it up. Look at all that cutting being done. Really helps that we have like eight glue stations as well for these drawers. Okay, all the handles are bent. We're just making the drawers and assembling the t Making like the individual drawers and then just assembling the whole unit. Then we're good. Oh, we want to sell whatever drawers we have. Oh god. There we go. Before that demand drops. Because it like takes into account what we already clicked on. So we should be good there. Let's deliver those three. I think cutting's all done, so let's get more drawers to make. So we can make another 30, so let's make another 25. And I think, yeah, we gotta relink cutting, because we deleted that one station. Which is totally fine, because we're batching it, so to evenly distribute that, no problem. And that should be good. Alright, get the small drawers out. This should make us a ton of money. You should see our money shoot up. Yeah, look at that. And as soon as this last drawer is done, we'll sell these two. Now we have 25 left. Oh yeah, and demand's 24, so we're gonna have one too many. What else do we have a lot of? 91. Let's make like 60 of these. Can I pick another plan? Okay, so we just need a little bit more strength. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, we could probably just do like this. Like that. And like that, right? There we go. And... Oh, oh, oh. Everything should be linked properly. Yeah, everything's linked. Cool. And we'll execute that as well. Oh, make sure we overdrive that. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? Just as long as we always have things cutting, I think we're good. And then once things are being cut, things will start to be glued. Things are always working here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we just need to pound through these drawers. Like, this is 50 grand worth of drawers right here. So if we can make these really quick, I think our revenue is going to shoot up. Nemesis Inc. is still 100 grand behind us in net worth. So we just need our revenue under control. Hopefully we get there. Get that champion milestone. All right, what else are we waiting for here? Just a lot of gluing, right? Yep, gluing, waiting for handles. Not a huge deal. Can we get more wood specialists? Eh, we could. We have 18 of them. I don't think we need more than that, really. Because with 18, we have eight advanced table saws that need advanced wood specialists. So even if all eight went on break, we would have another 10 waiting to then use these machines. So I don't think we need any more wood specialists at this point. All right, we'll sell all 25 of these once they're all done. Come on, come on, come on. Wait. Is this being done? What's going on with these small drawers? That is getting sent out, right? The small drawers? There we go. Let's deliver that. Yeah, so we're going to have one extra. Not much we can do with that, but that's fine. The demand actually might come back and we'll be able to sell it. How much cutting do we have left? Not all that much cutting, so you know what? Let's get some more. Oh yeah, we could totally just make this. Oh, we could totally get rid of this. Go to basic wood for this, I think. Oh, we're one short on style. Oh! Super simple then. We just drop that down to like particle board. We can drop this down to normal wood. Okay, it looks ugly as hell. But you know what? Whatever makes us money. Let's make... Is the demand going down? Demand's going up. So we can make 50. I don't think we'll have a problem with that. Let's execute that so by the time we get the materials in, all this cutting should be done. Overdrive that. Overdrive that. Get them out, get them out, sell them, sell them, sell them. Come on, get them out. Go, Vinny, go. Oh, I already sold them, never mind. What am I talking about? We did it! Oh my god! I did not think that would do it. All right. Congratulations, you are incredibly awesome and your imaginary workers will praise you until the end of time. It took you 421 days to complete all factory milestones. Thank you for playing. So what does all this say? Contracts failed 18. We paid out a million dollars in salaries. Oh my god. 58,000 coffees drank. Oh wow. We earned four million dollars. We tripped 2,000 workers. Factory started too? I don't know what that means. Largest payoff was 112,000. I think that's when we made like 75 drawers. Time played, 22 hours. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I thought this was gonna take a lot longer, but apparently that took a whole what? Nine minutes? You know what? Maybe I'll just append this. Hmm. You know what? No, I'll leave this as a separate video. I was debating appending it to the previous episode, but that episode's done. This is just going to be a super short episode at like 10 minutes. But yeah, thanks for hanging out for this little big workshop playthrough. Um, I would recommend this game. All right, the phone's still ringing. <laughs> I would recommend this game. Oh, let's answer this stupid phone. Go away. Go away. I definitely would recommend this game if you could get it for... I forget how much I even paid for this. 
If you could get it for like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, I think it's worth it, especially if you like management types of games. Some of it can be frustrating. I'm assuming if you watch my whole playthrough. Um, things like understanding, I don't know what made my revenue pop up there. Net worth seemed a little backwards that it didn't count the cash in hand. All I had to do was buy up all the land and boom, I had all my net worth and all that figured out. Um, and then my other biggest gripe was I never knew which worker was doing what. Sometimes it felt like things like this is just sitting there and I don't know why. It's not very clear on that and I wish it just had a little bit more granular control over saying like, this worker is assigned to this workbench and that's all they work on. I wish you could do something like that, but this game doesn't go that far in depth. So that might bug you, but other than that, I had a pretty fun time playing this game. I really like making some of the different recipes. Although this is one of those games where once you find that thing to make, like these small drawers, once you realize like if you can get an item with very little amount of tasks to make said item, like this only had a few operations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine operations, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this had a total of nine operations for what was it like 800 to 1300 dollars per unit versus like the sky knife which look at the amount of operations for less money and it's like once you figure that out it's like why would you ever do these more advanced operations so some things like that the prices don't seem like they match up with the amount of effort they take in and it kind of seems like once you can kind of figure that out, you can kind of cheat the system a bit and really just cruise along. Took me a long time to figure that out, but if you watch this, you could probably cruise through this in half the amount of time. This took me 421 days. I could probably do it again in like 150 days, honestly. Maybe even less. But that was my playthrough. Hope you guys liked, liked it. Please check out my other series. Currently playing Autonauts. Love that series. I'm at over like 70, 80 episodes at this point. And we will be starting a new series shortly. So stay tuned and thanks for hanging out. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys all on the next series. But until then, take it easy everyone.